school. Well, Urban Meyer, not the only person with a connection to both schools. Now, throughout the game, there's going to be video shown of a former Notre Dame tennis player being treated at the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center. NBC4's Jackie Gillis spoke with him and his doctor to learn their story and why they are staying so positive. Jackie, this is fascinating. Yeah, it really is, Jen and Jared. Last winter, Ron Rosas was admitted to a hospital in Texas for a severe case of pneumonia. And it spread so fast that he had no choice but to lose all four limbs. And his only goal, to one day play tennis again. One day last winter, Ron's life was turned upside down when he found out he had pneumonia that quickly turned septic. After learning that he needed amputation on all four limbs, it was decided that he would go to the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center for treatment. It was one of these things that I didn't, you know, I didn't feel like I was, you know, in Ohio. I felt like I was, you know, with, you know, with family because they took really really good care of me. He underwent over 70 hours of surgery and spent about nine weeks here in Columbus. What we did is said, okay, this is our overall plan, but we're not going to think about this. You know, we are going to, and this is like the football analogy. It's like one game at a time, right? And Ron actually used the tennis uh, analogy of one point at a time. What they're doing at Ohio State and the Western Medical Center is they put me in the best position for for also the future on what may still be coming out because um, I plan to you know, hopefully be around a long time. He added that the team at the Wexner Medical Center saved his life. Without that team, I don't know that I would be where I am right now. I mean, they they helped, they they did more than help me in 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 keeping this, you know, positive attitude, you know, this humor at, at such a difficult time. When someone who has kind of the unique needs that Ron had uh, came through. Right. And so what's amazing is to be able to put it allows me to put all of my energy and my thought towards kind of how can we give him the best surgery possible while knowing that kind of our everyone from our um, housekeeping staff to our uh, nursing staff to our therapy teams to all the other kind of providers, whether it's kind of working at looking at his mental health kind of or the other surgeons or physicians that were involved with his care. Wow. Yeah, and this Saturday, he and the doctor, they're both going to be recognized at the game. Wow. So that's exciting. They're excited to see each other again. It's been a little bit. That is so incredible. Mm-hmm. I yeah. yeah, and the fact that he, he knew the work that would be done here at Ohio State. Sure. And I just, mm-hmm. oh, of course, we all just wish the absolute best for him. Yes, it's going good. He got his first prosthetic arm. So okay. he'll wow. be playing tennis again, that's hopefully it. soon in a little bit. So. Yeah. That's remarkable. Yes. Well, You'll have to keep us updated. Ryan Day plays tennis. They should... Oh, that should be yeah. a partnership, That would be I the think. next great story. Yeah, All right, you. Jackie, thank you yeah. so much. And as we've mentioned, NBC4 is going to bring you special coverage of this historic game. Friday night, we have extended coverage of our 7 p.m. newscast. We're going to break down the Saturday's game along with all the action happening across the Big Ten. The next day is Saturday, 2.30 p.m. We'll have special coverage in studio and from Notre Dame. And then as always, join us after the game, 11 p.m. We have coverage from the big Ohio football show for a full breakdown. Yeah, busy day. Yeah.